Hey guys, Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm coming to you this month, obviously. We're gonna talk about December's market reports in the West Side area. So we, uh, we had some big changes. So we went from uh, 16 units sold in November. That's for the whole district, about 5,000 houses. Only 16 units sold in November to 26 in December. That's up 63%, something that we normally don't see. December statistically is our slowest month of the year, um, but because of unseasonably warm temperatures that we had in December, um, and then honestly, interest rates dropping, you know, two months ago, they were seven and a half, seven, three quarters, even 8%. Uh, right now, they're hovering around, you know, six and a half, 6.375. And so money is getting down to where it was like pre-COVID money. Um, but so our average sale price in November was just over 525,000. Our average sale price in December was 366,000. That's 30%. Now, before you freak out or think, oh my gosh, what is going on with the market? We had two houses in November in the district that sold that were in the seven figures. One was just shy of 1.3 million. The other one was 1.5 million. So that kind of skewed the numbers. Um, so that's the overall market. Um, now I'd like to talk about the first time home buyer price point. That's zero to 350,000. So November, we had seven. Again, November was an overall slow month, okay? Uh, seven units sold in November, 18 sold in December. That's up 157%. That's a really great sign for the market, um, whether it's District 66 or just the overall uh, Omaha Metro, showing that we've got a lot of activity in December, which is normally a slow month. We went from an average sale price in November of 240,000 to 270,000. So that's up 12%. Again, we had more units sell in December than we did in November. And we got some little, you know, fewer higher priced houses, you know, in the starter price point in December as compared to November. Um, the next segment that I like to talk about is the move up. That's 350,000 to 750. Uh, we had six units in, in November, seven units in December. Um, pricing was up about 2%. So we went from about 526,000 to uh, about 538,000 in December. Um, you know, our, our days on market were starting to climb a little bit. We went from nine days on market in November to 29. Um, you know, so, and again, that's what I would normally see. Like it takes a little longer, you know, in December. Um, but I still love the fact that the pricing is still moving the right way. Okay, so the third segment that I like to talk about is the luxury. That's anything 750 and above. So in November, we had three sell total. Okay, uh, one was 1.285, one was 1 1.5, and then another one was 800,000. Um, in December, we only had one. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, we get up into the higher price point in that luxury market. A lot of times what happens is that luxury client, they're traveling, they're hosting for holidays. So some of the real estate just frankly just kind of goes on the back burner. But overall, uh, very optimistic, you guys. Uh, you know, so I mean, if you, if you have any questions about the West Side real estate market, uh, I'm born and raised in West Side. I went to Oakdale. My parents grew up in the area. I have two kids that are in the district. Um, so I know West Side like the back of my hand. Um, and I, uh, if you have questions, you know, over the next three, six, nine, 12 months, Todd, what do you think is going to happen in West Side? What do you think is going to happen with real estate? Um, I talk with lots of analysts. I talk to, with, with agents all over the country um, on a weekly basis with Zoom calls and webinars and things of that nature, just to try and stay on top of what's going on in our in this crazy industry, you know, with interest rates doing this, with pricing doing this. Um, there's just a lot that goes into it. So put my 24 years of, of, uh, of experience to work for you. Um, if you like what, I, what I'm bringing to you here from a statistics standpoint um, and just a knowledge base, please remember to follow me on social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.